Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Dr. Paul. I shot several hours of video doing tape removal on Noah's copy of Superman number nine. When I did it, I did not record regular intros and outros because I wanted to minimize the total amount of time that the comic was in the solvent, and I wasn't sure exactly how I'd present it to you. At first, I thought maybe I'd show it to you at some kind of accelerated speed, 4x or 8x. But as I was thinking about it and as I was doing it, I realized because that work really needs to be done very slowly, I didn't want to present it to you sped up and give you anybody the impression that the work could be done or should be done quickly. I thought later about editing some of it out, but many of you have told me that what you love about my videos is the sort of gory detail that I go into. Um, as much as maybe it puts some people to sleep, others are really want to see every step because they want to try to do these, these techniques themselves. So what I've done is I've edited those hours into bite-sized chunks, and this is going to be your intro for all of them. Please remember that we have a giveaway every month. Link to that is at the bottom of the description. If you're enjoying this video series, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. And lastly, if you are going to try any of these techniques out and you need to buy some materials, please use the Amazon affiliate links down in the description. Also helps the channel out. So enjoy, and until next time, take care of one another. The spine is obviously much more difficult than the edges because the paper was in lower quality when the tape was put on. It was already frayed, it was already coming up in layers. So we go as slowly as we can, but we're going to have paper loss here. And again, it's not that we're creating paper loss by pulling up the tape, it's that the paper loss already existed. The fact that the tape was here was just covering it up. So. piece of carrier that it's actually multiple pieces of tape over that binding and you see just the very top layer of paper that wasn't on there securely has come up with the carrier as we expected now we have to undo these layers I thought this was a wide piece of tape down the centerfold. It's not. It's actually two narrow pieces of tape, like, you know, your normal scotch tape roll that you have in your home. The thin one.
Whenever you do this work, there may be people that second guess you. Let's say the book was better all taped up and that's an opinion. I don't know that there's a factual reality to whether or not the book is better with or without the tape. I do know that over time the tape is going to deteriorate the book because it's not archival tape. The adhesives will get down into the book and they will destroy the paper. So from my perspective, I'd rather get that paper, get the tape off of it and accept the fact that, yeah, it may have looked superficially a little nicer with the tape on but that's a little bit like just painting over a car with rust on it sure superficially it looks a little bit better but you know that it's a less good car than one with the rust exposed and then treated properly even if the car where you've exposed the rust and treated it properly looks worse it's a healthier car and this is a similar situation in my opinion i would rather have a less good looking book that i know has had archival techniques here's some adhesive get that out of the way that I know has been prepared with archival techniques we're just gonna lose this piece of paper here I'm kind of dance trying to dance around it but it is what it is like I said before it's not like I'm actually losing it right now it's already gone the book just didn't realize that the paper was already gone there We're going to do all we can to minimize the impact on how the book looks and how it presents. Because, you know, we want it to present well. A lot of the value is in people liking to look at it. So we want it to present well. But we want it to present well for the next hundred years not present well for today knowing that corners have been cut and that long term the integrity of the book is suspect so that's our goal again not everybody has to agree with it there's a whole piece layer of paper here now one thing is, if, if a layer comes off like this, and if it's not super ephemeral, if it's actually more or less a solid layer, we may be able to reattach it with some archival methods. Yeah, there's just no, the paper here is so weak, there's no getting between the carrier and the paper in this spot. That whole section wants to, wants to stay on the carrier. Essentially, all the way up here. Yeah, I'm not shocked. We knew that this was, we called it out. Yeah. 
So that's actually a substantial enough layer of paper. We may be able to recover that from the tape and use it. And I will certainly try to do that if I can. If A situation where this tape just does not want to come off without taking the top layer of the paper with it no matter what we do when I pointed all that area out in the walkthrough. It's definitely as bad as I thought it might be. Interesting that, and I might just do a little bit of it over here on purpose. It's interesting how much of the adhesive is rolling up there for me without hardly any work at all. Normally it's a two-step process where we remove the carrier and I usually come back and remove the adhesive later. But in that particular spot, the adhesive just wants to come right up. There's a big glob of the adhesive right there. Even taking this adhesive off, I'm being careful not to go against the green of that tear, going with, with the tear lengthwise, but the paper is still relatively strong. Well, this has taken quite a while. Obviously, nobody wants to watch a four hour upload. So I think I'll continue this off camera and show you the results in the next video. I appreciate everybody showing up for this series and all the love and support we're getting for the channel. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, 
And until next time, take care of one another.